In uh, the original version of the game, if you left the room and you were poisoned by Yawn, what would actually happen is uh, Barry would come to your aid. Or I think Rebecca for Chris. Which Rebecca, um, she doesn't appear at all with Jill's segment. That hasn't changed. But, uh, yeah. Kind of interesting. There we go. I will take the serum. Oh, I'm in caution! God damn it. Oh well. I... Let's use that. That's all you need. Alright, so. I'm gonna use all the shotgun shells in that before moving on to that, so I'm gonna put that away. Uh, I have nine shotgun shells now. Is that? I'm gonna put this away because I don't really need it. I need that. Mm, I'll keep that for backup. Really need an herb to keep with me either. All right. So now we're going to go to another boss battle. Just a cascade of boss battles. Alrighty, we're going to go down here. It's really weird not carrying around a key. Because for a majority of this game, you carry around keys. But, mm, we're fine. Alright. Ow. Magic pixeling! That's not nearly as bad as it used to be with the old game, so I'm not complaining. That's not great. Not good. Not the best. Yeah, not good. Alright, still fine. And he's dead! Good. That is the prototype Crimson Head. I'm like 90% sure that's what he's called, too. And as you can tell, pretty strong fucker. Uh, the inscription is carved into the indentation. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Switch, press it, yes. Something here. Will I take the stone and metal object? I sure will, thank you. All right. And now we're leaving the cool area forever.
Alrighty, so... We don't really need to go to a... An item box. We can just keep forging ahead, because we have all that we need, really, to keep going. I hope I have enough inventory space. I'm pretty sure I do, but, you know. Aha! Gotcha! Alright, there's something written in the indentation. The Defiler of the Accursed Coffin. So, yeah, that's pretty obvious. We're supposed to go there, get the thing from the coffin, come here. <laughs> Alright. So we need to pick up some supplies. I will pick up the shotgun shells. This is... Oh, it's open. Oh yeah, it is open. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go back this way because I don't have what I need. I already know it, so I'm not gonna waste my time going that way. Well, my time and yours. Ooh. No, I don't want that. I want. Yeah, give me that. Alright, so Valley of Destruction, Cave of Hatred, Summit of Madness, and Path of Revenge. Alright, so North, South, East, West. Alrighty. Barry? I like how Jill looks around like, oh shit, really? really? I just got here, really? Ooh, there we are. Let's see, inscription. The gate will open when the guard's dog's desires are fulfilled. So this guy, statue with red eyes, the inscription reads, the war cry of revenge. So we have to make him go to the south? Yeah. A uh, statue with blue eyes. Description reads, the last gasps of destruction. So blue destruction, red revenge. Blue destruction, red revenge. Alright, so blue is north. And red is west. North is... Yeah, blue is north, red is west, so you actually have to, like, time this. Super annoying. It's also really, really easy to get it wrong. You can also just fuck with these things until the dog statues point away from the door, but it's like... It's also the direction that's pointing closest to the camera, like, that way on both of those, so I guess it's pretty easy. There we go. And the gate is open! Fantastic. Crows. I'm being cool, crows. I'm being cool. Fuck, god damn it. In the wind. Yeah, I don't have that right now. Fuck, god damn it. Fucking crows! Anyhow. I think when I go back there, they should be gone. If not, I'll just shoot them. Like, you know. 
They're hard to shoot. And that is the sound of one of the best parts of this game. I don't think there's a zombie. No, there's no zombie. Not yet, anyway. There's usually a zombie in here, but I forget if it's not on the lower difficulty. Okay. So I'm going to pick these up. I'm not worried about filling up my inventory space. Actually, I'm gonna... Just in case. I'd rather be safe than sorry. The firewood looks fresh. There's a map of the courtyard. Take it. Yep, it's mine now. So you go in here and... Oh! A family picture. Family picture and some notes. My dearest Lisa. There's a journal left by someone. 19. D Daddy attacked first. Mom attacked second. Side red and slimy. White and hard. Not true, Mom. Where? Dunno, Dad. Found Mom again. When text Mommy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just won't be with her. Four. Mom... Where? I miss you all. Obviously someone not in their right mind. Which, like, understandable? You'll, you'll see why. So I'm going to dump those there. And I'm going to have that on me you'll see why. Uh, I'm gonna put this, yeah, until I actually have, like, an opportunity to get rid of those last two shells. But honestly, two shells is not so bad. Will I take the crank? No. That's the item. If you touch it, it's a problem. I'm gonna save, just in case I fuck this up really bad. So, as soon as it catches up. Okay. Gonna go down here. Will I take the crank? I sure will. I'm just gonna put that on just in case just just in case oh shit that ain't good yeah and also kind of weird how she goes down there boy whatever See if she'll do it. Let's see if she'll do it. Ha ha! There's a slide. <laughs> it takes a rocket launcher to down her. It takes like you can down her with normal weapons, but it takes a fucking lot, and you don't want to sink your ammo into her anyway because uh, it doesn't really matter. She doesn't die. Oh, there's the zombie. There 
we go. And he is taken care of. I also forgot to grab the wind crest. God damn it, Scarlet. Oh well. It's fine. I can always pop back through here and grab it. Oops. Because I don't know if she still hangs out in that shack if you go back in there. And I'm not going to test it out. 